Hi folks, this is Dr. Pingle. Um, one of the questions that I've gotten on the uh, assignment is how do I use the GeoPackage data with ArcGIS Pro? Um, ArcGIS Pro can read GeoPackages. Um, you just can't drag and drop them in here. Uh, you'll have to go to add data uh, and then add data this way. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, select the file that you want. Now, you can't just hit open here. Uh, you're gonna, um, that's gonna bring you into a uh, uh, sort of a, a folder view of this. And that's because the geo package is a container. Uh, it's not a single data source. So just like a geo database, uh, it is a geo database. Um, it can have multiple uh, layers inside of it. So you're gonna um, click on that and open it that way. Now, when you are going to, when you open it, you can see that it did load. Uh, it's over here on the left and uh, it's just not showing up. Um, so what you're going to need to do to, to fix that issue, um, uh, in a perfect world, that would, that would have worked. Um, but, uh, but Esri doesn't always necessarily handle geo packages correctly. And this is a case where uh, it's not working very well. So what you can do is, uh, you can actually just export, uh, these features to a, uh, to a geo database. Um, uh, in this case, I'm just going to export it to the default geo database that I have, but you may uh, create one particularly uh, for this project. Uh, you can hit OK. And then once that export is done, you can see that all of that data did load in correctly. So it's not an ideal workaround, but you're going to want it in, in the cases where um, data layers don't load. And so developing strategies uh, to deal with that is going to be very helpful for you down the road. Um, okay, thanks for listening. Bye. Just to, uh, just to uh, complete one final thought here, um, uh, remember that ArcGIS is not the only GIS I have available to you. Uh, QGIS is an open source GIS program. Um, and even if you're not used to using it uh, and don't necessarily want to spend the time on it, um, I would uh, really encourage you to keep QGIS uh, in your back pocket. Uh, as, uh, as a way to sort of deal with um, tricky file loading and conversion issues. Um, so as an example, this is the QGIS interface. Um, to load data, um, you know, I can, I can appreciate that things aren't exactly maybe where you're used to seeing it, um, but if you go to uh, layer and add layer, you can see that you can load all kinds of things. Um, interestingly, QGIS um, separates things out between vector layers and raster layers and even mesh layers. Um, we're just going to load a, a vector layer, uh, and then I've got it queued up here, but if you um, open uh, this and hit add, um, you are going to see uh, that data load. Uh, you may need to do a, uh, it may prompt you for a coordinate uh, conversion. Uh, it may not. Um, but you can see that the, that the data layer did load uh, cleanly um, directly from the geo package, and, and there was no further work needed to do that. Um, so. QGIS is exceptionally useful um, for file input output issues. Um, if you really needed to get it back into ARC, um, you could potentially right click on this, export, and then save the features as uh, something else, uh, including an Esri shape file if you wanted to, um, but lots of other formats uh, as well. So thanks. Bye.